Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights! When last we left off, we were in 1F's tower, and everybody on this floor seems not to be hostile, because we have the Wardstone. So let's go through here. Oh, actually just leads to this middle area here. And in here are some non-hostile bugbears, I imagine because we have the Wardstone? Yep, we have the Wardstone, therefore they don't want to try and kill us. Excellent! I'd rather avoid combat if I could. And it would seem that the pathing is not working very well for my companions in here, so I might have to start... I think I'm just going to have to gain access to everything myself. By apparently not aggroing the guards when I break open all of these treasure chests. Done and done. Indeed it is done and done, Sharwin. I don't know why you're claiming credit for it. That one is locked. This one apparently my weapon is ineffective. Is it really? Let's have a check. Is my weapon truly <sighs> ineffective? No, because critical hits deal 10 points of damage. Yep, not that ineffective after all, eh, game? Done and done. Indeed, it is. I'm not still not sure why you're trying to claim credit for that. I can't reach this your chest because you're stood there. And I triggered nine. the most terrifying trap of them all. It did paralyze me. If I was trying to open that chest and these bugbears were hitting me, I'd be dead right now, probably. Fortunately, they're not. <laughs> Are you trying to open my chest? No? Good. Because if you were, I'd have to get angry. That's it. Just hit it with your sword, just like everyone would. But don't steal what's inside it, okay? Um, sure. I won't steal what's in it. Good. Excellent. Now there isn't a chest, so therefore, I'm not stealing what's in it, because it doesn't exist. Oh. Very good, then. I imagine that indicates that there's like a sort of transportation area between them. So if I were to go through the other door, it would probably lead me to the other side. And I'm going to save here, uh, because I don't know what's actually up the stairs here. It could be Peril. It could be Doom. It could be any one of these things. Let's find out. There is some... Gargoyles? Are they gargoyles? No, they don't seem to be active like gargoyles. Okay. There's just some loot everywhere. No actual enemies in this room. That... There's a trap. Uh, no actual enemies in this room, though. The gem must be somewhere around here. There's a loot bag here. Don't tell me they just put the gem... No, it's a healer's kit. I was just about to say, don't tell me they put the gem just where anybody... Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. That, that's a death chest. I'm going to put this death chest theory to the test by using, by casting, like, stone skin on myself. And the, uh, resist element spell. And we'll cast. Oh, flame strike is uh, not something I actually have available to me. So let's just attack it. Will I die? A hundred points of damage. You'll notice that that was enough to kill me, even with all of that protection there. All of it. A hundred points of damage. Now we could test to see if a ranged attack will actually. Uh, deal with that. I just accidentally got rid of my cantrip there. Oops. Specifically, I think, where is uh, level 6 spell? No, is it a level 6 spell? Wall of Flame? No. Flame Strike! There we go. Let's get Flame Strike in there and see if we're casting Flame Strike at right There are enemies nearby. Where? Does it count the enemies in the other part of that upper part, even if, even if they can't reach me? Does it still count them as enemies? That's interesting. That's interesting. I, I suppose it's just distance-based, so even if they're not anywhere near me, they would still count as enemies. So, now we have Flame Strike prepared. So we're going to do the same preparations. I'm, I'm going to cast Stone Skin on myself, and then I'm going to cast... 
resist elements, and then, just to be entirely um, certain, I'm going to cast Death Ward on myself. So if it's just an instant death effect that kills me, which I doubt, I think it's just a colossal amount of damage, there we go. Let's cast Flame Strike on it and see if it opens. There we go. That works. What was in it? A rapier. Well, it's loot, I suppose. Now let's rest. So, that does work. Flame Strike is my open up death chests trap. We could be using other things, like the uh, Flame Lash would probably have worked earlier. But, uh, yeah. So, if in doubt, Flame Strike. Also, if in doubt, going to cast those spells again. This time, on you and me. Because I get a feeling we're going to be fighting more enemies. Always be prepared for more enemies. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of peril over there. Oh, definitely. The peril will be great. Let's go. What do we have to face over there? How in the name of the gods did you get in here? Prepare to be destroyed. Utterly. This elf exudes the extremely confident air of one who has never known defeat. Uh, well, um, hate to break it to you. You're about to know defeat. There is a tiger. My weapon will not. Oh wow! It won't. Is that because you have a a uh, stone skin on yourself? Yes, it is. One that we are slowly breaking through. I'm sorry, Wenev. Please attack no more. I am defeated. You are indeed defeated. Um. Fair enough. I'm going to start uh, opening the various items you've got here. You are indeed defeated. Are you just going to bash that in? Fine. Go at that chest then. You'll get in eventually. I think. No? Don't make me flame strike it. What are they doing? Um, they're unlocking the chest. No, they are not. What, what, what's on this? Well, I could actually kill you here because you're paralyzed, but you actually, I actually can't because I'm now not hostile. Stop trying to hit it. It's not going to work. Fair enough. Maybe he'll give me a key to open it. Or maybe I'll just have to blow it up with flame strike. How are you still talking even though you're paralyzed? Well, what? Oh. Now, so will Flame Strike open that chest? I'm curious. One of there was not that difficult because we blew him up before he could do anything. Flame Strike, open the chest for me. Hey, it worked. It's like the world's worst lockpick. There's that not gem I wanted. Hmm. You must have it then. Perhaps I was too rash in attacking you. Please, accept my apology. Perhaps you would better answer my questions before I finish what you started. I should like to counter with a question of my own. Why are you in my home? Who are you exactly? I am Wanev, a, well -ver a man well versed in the medical arts and of no small renown. I am somewhat displeased at being defeated by you. My idiot friends will have many a jest at my expense. I have been sent here to take a magical gem from you, so the serpent still seeks an easy way home. Well, he shall have to become used to disappointment. He cannot have the gem. I have been hired to get the gem, and I intend to get it. Hand it over now. You don't understand. I have lost the gem, and I am quite unable to retrieve it, despite my powers. You would be wise to forget about this job and leave now. You say that you are unable to retrieve the gem, but I believe that I've just proven myself to be stronger than you. Well, if you wish to get yourself killed, why should I care? I have heard that Elaith intended to take this gem, and prior to receiving the information, I had taken little interest in the bauble. I wondered why he intended to steal it. Go on. 
To be honest, I am not a patient man. I had better things to do than my search for my library, trying to match the description of a gem to one of the artifacts in the books. So I thought it wise to summon an imp, or sort of lesser demon, to make him do the legwork. There was a bit of a setback. He stole it, didn't he? No! Why would he have stole it? I'm not dumb enough to have... Uh, um. I was somewhat less than careful with the preparations, but Little Fiend escaped the summoning circle. Let this be a lesson about casting when drunk. You are in a room with me, a tiger, and a bear. I, 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 yes, I, I know. Why are you mentioning this? The next statements might... Well, let's just hear what you have to say, shall we? The wretch expanded the portal and began to bring forth his demonic minions. I sealed off the area as fast as I could and sobered up. And the gem? In my haste, I left the gem in a storage chest and subsequent forays into my summoning chamber have met with ill luck. I shall truly miss Pookie. He was a loving familiar. So you see, the area is quite full of demonic adversaries and the gem lies within, most likely stolen by that spiteful imp. Is there an area where I can... and how... Where is this area, and how do I get in there? The door behind me shall teleport you there, though I keep it well locked for safety's sake. Is there anything in the area that could help me get through without becoming demon fodder? Hmm, yes. The hallway that leads from the first large area you'll find leads to my treasure chamber. This is, in fact, where I had stored the gem. Halfway down the hallway is a defense lever. When pulled, it sets up a rather nasty spell on the treasure chamber. This should weaken any demonic demons that might have made their way in there. Give me the key to the door, and I shall get the gem myself. Take the key and know this. Should you be able to close the demon portal, I will be most grateful. The gem is yours regardless. What say you? I shall attempt to close the portal as I search for the gem. You need only kill the imp that I originally summoned and place his cursed heart in the summoning razier. That should take care of the portal. His name is Gulgash. Please return to me when you have closed the portal, for I shall try to find a suitable reward in the meantime. I appreciate not being killed. Take this wardstone and my servants shall leave you be- I already have one of those! Uh, how? I broke into your house in Port Last and, uh, and uh, I'm going to go through the door now. You'd best. Well, I think that went rather well. We finished a quest and got a quest without actually finishing a quest because we didn't finish a quest. Hooray! We didn't finish any quests there at all. So, let's, um, cast some buff spells, because we're going to need them. Because this place sounds tricky. So, would you like a stone skin? I'd like a stone skin. And a resist elements. And just to be on the safe side, I'll have that as well. You never know, we might need it. But, but where's mine? Well, I had to prepare another sleigh living. So... You don't have another one. Uh, no. Why am I traveling with you again? Because I'm the protagonist? That's not a good enough reason anymore. Let's go and fight some demons. The summoning chambers. Now, what is go- What on earth is this? Really? What is this? There is an imp. Cowardly but cunning, these small demonic humanoids often found to the will found to the will of sorcerers and wizards may do their bidding. Right, there is a portal. Is it going to start spitting out demons? Yes, it is. Very small demons too. Very small demons. So, we need to uh pretty quickly sort things out. So there is somewhere around here a switch. Halfway down the corridor, there is a switch, as I recall. Well, that was a pretty simple fight. Wasn't exactly the most tricky of them all. But is this really the place beyond that door? I, I'm starting to be a bit dubious about that. Like, that's a lot of stuff. Also, there are going to be a lot of... There is a trapped chest. This one is also probably trapped. No, it's not. It's... Fair enough. It's just locked. Fair enough. But hey, at least we're getting close to solving this one and getting that gem back. Here we go. Done What's done. in here? A ring. What's in here? A trap. And 34 gold. 
What else do we have? A pile of skulls! Because you're a... Uh, 1F, why do you have a pile of skulls? I know most places in this game have just a random... Also, it wouldn't be that difficult to just jump that gap and... Uh, there is the, uh, bra the uh, brazier that we're going to be using to uh, deal with the, uh, the portal in question. But really, a portal? Really? There are going to be horrible demons down here. Ah! There is the switch. And suddenly, from the ceiling emerge methods. Literally. They just dropped from the ceiling. Unfortunately, methods are not that tough. And also, we want to pull this switch. There was a trap there. When you pull the lever, you hear an electrical hum. That's what we wanted to do. That has weakened whatever is in the treasure room. <laughs> Prepare to become one. Now, what is going to be eternity. here? Oh, look! More methods. This is not exactly the most terrifying of things. Seems like most of my uh, actual charges on the stone skin are being eroded away by all that fire damage. Oh, this is trapped. With a spike trap that... No, no, actually I have loads left. Look, 59 points. That's pretty uh, substantial. I don't know why I'm even picking up that book. It's worth nothing. Pretty much. There is a... Wow, look at how thin that trap is. Do you see it? That tiny line there. The most minuscule of traps. Wow. Imagine if you tripped. So I'm going to avoid this. But I don't think anyone else is. I hope it's not fatal. No, it's just six damage. <laughs> it's really not a dangerous trap. Done and done. Thank you very much. Right. So actually, we've come in here, nearly killed a magician, didn't kill a magician, and then went and did a quest for him. <laughs> now, this isn't that hard, Wanev. I'm surprised you've Your been having this much difficulty with it. This is actually quite easy. It's pretty simple, this. Ah, those, however, will bypass our... Uh, damage reduction and uh, extra hit points. However, these are pretty simple. I actually say that uh, Wanev was probably going to be tougher. So you hear an electrical hum, but that doesn't seem to have done it. Ow! Wow! What are you doing? You have seen the enemy there and you're going to start trying to kill him, aren't you? Okay, we're just going to smash through this chest. Because otherwise we're going to have to fight those hellhounds. And now the chest is down there, briefly. Wow. A ring of clear thought plus two. Okay, Sharwin has gone off to go and fight. Hello. Hee hee hee, free to annoy, free to destroy. Okay. We need to flank Your here. Your end. Yep, uh, Gulgash, you don't really stand much of a chance surrounded by all of these people. I'm sorry you have perished. And so have the Hellhounds. That wasn't the hardest fight. There is Gulgash's heart. Fate Pulse still seems to beat within the small twisted heart. It belongs to the imp Golgash, the creature used to serve Wanev, a wizard who maintains his, pa his uh, tower in the uh, southeast of Port Last. He also maintains his power there too, which is what I was going to say. Ooh, an unidentified ring. And also a bag of remains. Probably from one of the uh, hellhounds. What's it got? A potion! That probably would have been really useful to you earlier, as opposed to now. Okay, let's open this. Uh, come on, there we go. A trap. And bullets. Hmm. Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? Because we did not find the uh we did not find the 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 gem I wanted. Maybe I am missing something. 
Hmm. Was it in here? Was it in this chest that I just didn't open? Yes. It was literally in that chest that I just didn't open. Oops. Well, when we come back, folks, we shall uh, go back to Wanev and inform him that he really should have dealt with this himself. It was just a pile of mephits and some hellhounds. Seriously. Cone of Cold would have killed most of them. But that's besides the point. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. That was rather easy, wasn't it? Um, yes, about that. What, you don't think there's going to be some great foreshadowing of a fight with demons in other expansions? I'm just not going to say anything to that. Later.